So before we move away from here, it's worth touching on a question that we get asked quite often, which is um, how do we close out the months or how do we close our month um, and how do we close the year? Now, there's no official month and close procedure within Business Central, but what we can do if we'd like is go into our general ledger setup and change the posting dates just to make sure that people can't post backwards. So we just change those dates to reflect the fact that we're now working in the current month as opposed to last month um, to lock that down. Uh, super users uh, can be allocated permissions to post backwards if they need to as well. So just because it's locked down doesn't mean that you can't change that, um, which is sometimes advantageous. But in terms of closing out the year, uh, two, two steps we need to go through. Um, so one is to go into our accounting periods, which are generally set up when we, we first start using the system that show you know, when, our, when our fiscal year starts and ends. Um, and then we go into process and close the year. I'm not going to do that yet, but that will lock it down to say we don't want posting into these periods. And then the next step is to go into process and close the income statement, which is going to take um, our balance information and moved it, move it into whatever account we've allocated for retained earnings, in this case, 60002, for then, uh, so we can then start afresh next year. Okay, so easy. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.